Hello, dear Capricorn. I have your weekly three card spread reading for the week of February 2nd, 2020. I've pulled two south cards for you today and one card of the east. <coughs> Excuse me. So for your situation card, we have quickening. And as you know, I'm using this beautiful deck. It's an oracle deck by Lynn V. Andrews called the Power Deck. You can never really teach a warrior about the unknown with words. You must use experience. But if you look into the eyes of a woman of power, you may catch up with her a little. She has years of truth ahead of you, however her eyes can quicken you like a river heading toward the rapids. Open yourself with love, not with understanding. You cannot love with your mind. Listen from your heart. If a camel is walking down a path and another camel passes him, the first camel will go faster to keep up. This is how power works. Don't learn everything with your mind. Quicken your spirit by letting go of attachments and move to a stronger vibration of power. The painting is entitled The Search Party. It symbolizes the journey of discovery through the sacred lands of the South. The universe is captured by the mountains, their sandstone speaking of the ancient quality of sacredness. Meanwhile, the universality of power hovers as a sphere in the great void, the great mystery. To find power and enlightenment, you must quicken your vibration to a higher level by letting go of negative thought patterns. For your challenge card, we have balance. And a reminder for the fact that we pulled two of one directional card for you. This indicates that work needs to be done in the opposite direction of the south, which is the place of the inner child. So this is where you're at. And work should be done in the opposite direction of the north, the uh, direction of the spirit. Which is also the uh, place of the adult in you. The structure of your daily spiritual life must be built on a strong foundation in the physical world, like a pillar of selected shaman stones balanced carefully one on another. Take care of your body through diet and exercise. Express your strength in acts of power and bring greater awareness to the exchange of money. Protect and nourish your family and express your integrity by bringing balance into society and nature. Then you will be prepared in the physical realm for higher spiritual learning. Your being is a spirit lodge the foundation of which is rooted in physical manifestation, strong against the storms along the trail to higher consciousness. To take power, make your spirit available, then take your power and bring your spiritual and physical natures into balance. The painting is called Shaman's Vision. It is about unity with the shaman standing in the center of his world, choreographing the energies of his universe. He is rooted in balance and harmony with the sphere of the universe and higher knowledge coming into him. Behind him is the village, his village, well cared for, with integrity and serenity. The eagle of higher spirit, who takes the messages of humans to the great spirit, flies over him and a herd of well-fed caribou grazes in peace in the meadow. The paintings show, shows the universe in peace. Whether you know it or not, you chose to come into this physical dimension to become enlightened and to learn its lessons. Many of us want to throw away these lessons. We do not want to understand the exchange of material things because we consider that a non-spiritual pursuit, when in fact it is a great part of learning our spiritual lessons. We must learn in the physical dimension to give away to the physical world, bringing spirit and balance into daily commerce and every life, everyday life. 
Bring awareness to your understanding of money and physical things. Bring the integrity of spirit into your business. Balance is a self card to demonstrate that you need to equalize your endeavors in the physical world with spirit in the north. To take power in the world, you must be in perfect balance, physically and spiritually. Realize the divine nature in humans and in all living beings and in all living things. And your, for your guidance card, we have witness. Live in your sacred witness. This inner place of silence and observing is your true identity, and therefore your true power. Your sacred witness is all you really have when all else is gone. Like monoliths in an ancient valley of great stones, it observes and remembers the passage of the ages. The answers that you find through the timelessness of spirituality and the innocence of nature offer the infinite. Each human being is on his or her own path, each different from yours. Answers to your questions are rarely found in another human being. Answer your own questions by reflecting on nature and conversing with your own sacred witness. The sacred witness is the part of us that knows all things, the part of us that is connected in the web of consciousness. The painting is entitled Silent Watchman. These monoliths are a testimony to time gone by, to the oceans of consciousness and unconsciousness that existed before us. The stone monuments also represent the human in the passage of time and the universality of truth that is held within Mother Earth. It is important to learn to stand still in silence in the sacred witness within you. Meditate on these stones and the great rock formations that have lived through the ages. Move into the essence of these stones. Once you become aware of this stillness, you will begin to experience the sacred witness that lives inside you. This is a teaching of the East because the sacred witness is, in the end, all that you have. It takes great wisdom and illumination to become your sacred witness. So I think the guidance card really kind of sums up the teachings of the previous two for balance, which is exactly what the reading exhibits is a balance is needed between the physical and the spiritual. Being in your sacred center to um, reflect and gather your own personal power is really the only way to maintaining that type of balance that is needed and also to ultimately know your sacred witness. So there you have it, your reading for the week and I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and joining me. Um, just remember to do what you can this week to nourish your spirit, to feed your soul, to make you feel whole and complete. Whatever that spiritual practice may be, it uh, varies from person to person. So only you know what can feed your own soul and nourish your spirit this week. Whatever it is, do that, dear Capricorn. And I hope that you um, come to watch my videos again next week. I will be here.